Warning, this game contains acts of violence, strong language, and sexual imagery. It is not suitable for children or young adults under the age of 17. Viewer discretion is advised. What's happening everyone, my name is Anthony Santana and welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. Now where we last left off, uh, Jack uh, gave me a ride out of out of this, and uh, my Facebook just went crazy, sorry about that. Jack gave me a ride out of, um, shoot, what is that other town called? Anyways, I'm in Beaton now. Well friend, this is as far as I can take you. Thank you again for everything. You made a real difference in my life. There's no trouble at all. Good luck, Jack. Thanks, Tony. Take care of yourself. Hope you find what you're looking for. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to save here because I've been recording constantly for like the past four hours almost. So, there. I'm going to pick this back up some other time, maybe tomorrow. And Future Me says, welcome back. So, we just got to Beaton. And now we go look for Larry's place. And, well, looks like there's a protest or a riot going on. Say it again, folks. Let your voices echo through these streets. Down with unions. Down with greed. Honest work is all we need. That's right. Let's put an end to the corruption that's devastated our hometown. It's time to make your voices heard, people. Sounds like some kind of protest or something. We won't pay your unfair dues. We've got wise to your ruse. Down the river, sell us out. Not so long as we can shout. Fuss, road, da. I'm kidding. Yes, and our message isn't done here, is it? We're not stopping until City Hall takes note. Mayor Bob Horde and his union pals may have promised us security, but what do they know when things turn rough? They partner up with a big business, fat cats like Macro Shaft, sabotaging our local enterprises. They also they can enjoy the massive profits off your backs while sucking the soul out of Beaton. Look out, Beaton! It's a big horde boulder. Better watch out, he'll run you over. These were the businesses our great grandparents started, the places we got our first jobs. Now they're all at risk of becoming sterilized, corporatized, homogenized hell holes. None of the union heads care about that though, they only care about the bottom line. If they had it their way, the whole city would be run by Macroshaft and its subsidiaries. These protests, this protest is our only weapon, this strike our only ammunition. Beaten's workers, big and small. We're on strike till that horde falls. I want to personally thank you for this ep for your efforts, B tonight's. You're the backbone of the city. Just remember to pledge your support in the upcoming elections so we can get the resolution we deserve. In a few days' time, when you follow when you follow the old red brick trail to City Hall, remember who to vote for. Vote to do if you hate greed. Honest work will make you free. Thank you, Beaton. Now, I have one final announcement before I go. The reason we're here in the bus station's parking lot is because they've joined our cause. Effective immediately, the drivers and workers of the bus service are joining our strike. As a ceremonial gesture, I'd like you all to wave goodbye as the last bus out of to here departs. Well, shit, that just made things worse for me. Crap. Shit. Alright, keep going strong, Beta Knights. Your city needs you. Well, what a way to fuck shit up for everybody. Mostly me. Goddamn strike. Now how the hell am I supposed to get to San Bernardino? Maybe Larry will have something to say about it. I think he said his place was up near City Hall. I guess I can follow this red trail and, fi and figure my way from there. Okay, let me check. Food. Stamina is good. Money, I'm kind of low. Okay, so I gotta go to Larry's. I wanna check out the stores first. Baka Sushi, Pawn Exchange. Do I have anything I can pawn? Light Beer, the Brominator. I have a few things. Check that out later. Uh, Krusty Cream, Bacon Barn, whatever this building is. Follow the brick road. 
Okay, so this is City Hall then. Um, nope, doesn't look like that way. This one maybe? Trudeau, Trudeau, Liber, Liberté. Horde, okay. Looks like this is Larry's place. Head inside of PC's home, yeah. <clears throat> so, are you going to greet me or just stare at that fish tank all day long? Sorry, I got lost for a second. I'm really glad to see you, Tony. I was starting to think you might not make it. Well, I'm here now. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Things are fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Kind of making it seem like uh, I, there's something to worry, but yeah, if you say so. Look, why don't we order in some breakfast? You can decompress and tell me all about why I still don't have that goddamn book yet. You like pancakes? Pancakes? Yeah. Even though I'm not hungry, but I actually had that this morning. Yeah, I could eat some pancakes. Alright, pancake up a loser. You're going to love these. Best in town. Damn, those pancakes do smell good. I told you so. I'm starting to think two orders might have been a bit too much though. So, do you do this often? Do what? Order breakfast instead of just cooking. Seems like it might get a bit expensive. Well, between the overdrawn savings account and a couple maxed out credit cards, Linda and I are already nearing six figures in the ground. Damn. And the way I see it, we're headed towards bankruptcy in a few months anyway. A few more pancakes on the ledger aren't going to be our undoing. That does not sound like a sound financial strategy. Oh, I know. Trust me, I know. There's nothing I can do about it though. Since her mom died, Belinda spent nearly every day and every penny at the mall. At first, I didn't have the heart to tell her we can't afford the shopping sprees, but by the time I got the balls to say something, we were broke. You should have seen her face when I suggested she get a job to start paying off some of the bills. Larry, that's insane. Have you considered divorcing her? So I can lose half to her in the courts and another half that of that in lawyer fees? No thanks. Plus, I couldn't do that to her. For better or for worse, right? Shit, I'm sorry. Don't be. It's my fault, really. When I got that job last year, I thought everything was going to be easier. Did you know two of the other guys in my department made over a million bucks each in just royalties? It's pretty easy to fool yourself when you're around successful people on a day-to-day -day basis. I got it in my head that I'd already made it and sold her on the idea we weren't just middle-class nobodies anymore. It takes a lot longer to climb that ladder, though. It's gonna be fine, though, right? I've got a few new prospects, and you're here. That's something, I guess. Yeah, you mentioned a job for me here? Well, it's not exactly what you're used to. Later that day. Okay, so we spent all morning eating breakfast. And here comes Belinda. She's not going to be happy to see me. Shit, Larry. Are you trying to get fired? Here I am crawling to my parents on my hands and knees for a little extra cash to keep us afloat and you're l lounging around eating pancakes? Is that who I think it is? You've got a lot of nerve coming around here after the shit you pulled, Tony. Hey, calm down, would you? He's here to make good on things, right? Uh, yeah. We're trying to steer- We're trying to steer the ship back on course, get life moving in the right direction again. Well, that's fine and dandy, but weren't you supposed to be having a meeting this morning? Shit, I forgot. I can see that. So, what the hell is he doing here anyway? We were, uh... Discussing work. We were discussing some work. Are you kidding me? How many chances are you going to give this fuck up? Well, fuck you too. You know what? Whatever. I give up. Great to see you again, Tony. Really damn good to see you. 
You better get your ass to work before they finally fire you for real this time, Larry. Actually, you're right. I should get going. Tony, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I'll tell you all about the job then, alright? You can stay here, sleep on the couch. <laughs> of course she's not happy. You've got to be kidding me. Larry, I was going to go shopping in a bit. You can't just leave strangers in my home. Take them with you. I don't care. He can make sure you don't blow all our cash. Either way, Tony stays. I pay the rent, so it's my call. Besides, you two would probably get along wonderfully. You both make my life a living nightmare. <laughs> Fine, you can tag along, Tony. Better than leaving you here to steal shit. I'm not a thief, woman. Perfect, like one big happy family. Now, if you'll excuse me. I love Larry's, uh, sarcasm. <laughs> Even though he's being serious about it. I'm sorry you had to see all that. Look, I've got nothing against you. You sure about that? Larry and I are just in the middle of things. I read that wrong. Apparently. Look, I said I was sorry. Let's just forget about it and go to the mall. There's a two-for-one special at the salon. You look like you could use some pampering. If you're into that kind of thing, that is. You sure that's a good idea? Well, you're either coming with me or you're out for the day because I'm not abandoning my home with a stranger in it, Larry's friend or not. Come on, it'll be fun. Who knows, maybe we'll become besties. You know what? Let's go. Might as well, right? That's what I wanted to hear. The, the rental car is downstairs. Rudolfo's Salon. Hello, can I get some service, please? Hello? Sorry for the wait, miss. How can I help you? That's a little better. You're in the service industry, for God's sake. Show a little dignity in your work, why don't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. What can I do for you two? We're here for the special. I'm sorry, ma'am. Which special? Don't play dumb with me, Chiquita. The one you advertised. Hair care, two for one. I wanted to treat my friend here to a relaxing scalp massage while I got my hair cut. Substitutions are acceptable, right? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't know what you're talking about. We aren't running any, spe any promotions right now. Do you have the flyer with you? No, I didn't bring the flyer with me. Can I speak with your manager? Where's Rodolfo? He's on lunch right now. Well then he's getting a mouthful about your poor treatment of his customers when he returns. I suppose if you want, we can get your treatment started now and you can talk to him when he gets back from his break. You came here to relax, there's no sense getting all riled up over a simple misunderstanding. Please come back here and we can get to work. A haircut for yourself and a scalp massage for your friend over here? That's more like the service I was expecting. Come on Tony, you're going to love this. Now, this woman knows customer service. I'm talking about her, the one that's talking right now. Anywhere you like, ma'am. She knows customer service, how to handle customers. You can take a seat next to your friend. I'm gonna apologize. I'm sorry for all that. She's a bit much sometimes. Oh, no worries. She's not even the worst we've had today. Alright then. Well, she said I can sit next to my friends. Probably isn't the best time or place to rummage through trash. Yeah, maybe later. <laughs> Suppose I should take a seat? Yep. So, a scalp massage? You're going to love it. Super relaxing. Now, if only I could figure out what to do with my hair, we'd be perfect. Don't ask me. A haircut, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Something different. I've been feeling so down lately. I need something to shake things up. You know what I mean? What do you think? Well, why not... Oof. Shorter, change colors, leave it be. I know she's not going to like it if I say leave it be, but shorter, she... Mm, might not be her style. No. Cut it shorter. Well, why not cut it shorter? Well, obviously it's going to be shorter. What sort of style do you think I should go for? You want me to pick a style? Sure, why not? Your hair's not bad, considering the color. Well, 
Right, of course. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Why don't you go... Hmm, professional, sophisticated, sexy, or wild? Professional. Why don't you go professional? Something you'd wear to a job interview. Oh, she didn't like that. Ugh. Okay, I don't like where you're going with this, but I can see your point. Okay, so she didn't take it so bad. With things the way they are, I'll probably need to find some work soon anyway. Gotta be able to rely on yourself, right? Yeah, she, she didn't take it bad, so... Um... Talking about Larry, what will Larry think? I'm not gonna get into their personal affairs. Or stuff. Sounds great. Ladies, we're ready for you. And I get the colorful hair one. <laughs> so, what you want us to do? You want like a trim or what? Yeah, I think a cut ought to do it. I want you to give me something professional. The kind of cut that'll get me my dream job. You sure about that, ma'am? That's a pretty big change for you. Yes, of course I'm sure. What kind of idiot do you think I am? You better do a damn good job if you want a tip, and don't question my decisions again, alright? Of course, ma'am. We always do our best for you. I'm just going to swivel your chair around and get started on you right away. She's probably even going to cut your throat as well. And what about you, sir? Which of the oils did you want me to use for your scalp massage? We've got lavender, peppermint, or rosemary. I can also give it to you with just water. I'll take it with... Okay, so I don't really like the smell of peppermint so much. Never smelled rose rosemary. I smelled lavender a few times before. I think I'll take that. I'll take it with lavender, I guess. Not a problem, sir. I'm just going to spin your chair around and get you started. Please try and relax. Don't worry. She will take good care of you. So, what do you think? Most of the men I know aren't usually into this sort of thing, so I'm curious how you like it. I could just stay here all day long. How does it feel? Well, scalp massage does feel nice. Not too bad, it's pretty relaxing. See, I knew you'd enjoy it. Uh, does, do they really want me to start a conversation? Because I'm not good with that. I don't usually start conversations. Just relax. And again. Yeah, I'd rather relax. I'm not the type that starts conversations. I carry on conversations, so. You know, this is really nice, Belinda. Thanks for bringing me. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. It was fun relaxing with you, too. I guess you're not as bad as I thought. Most people can't appreciate a good silence. Shh. You two are talking too much. Just close your eyes and relax. And I fell asleep. <laughs> okay, so later that day, a few minutes later? Oh, you're back with us. You fell asleep for a minute there. You sure it was for a minute? Oh, my head feels amazing. And everything still smells like lavender. I hope you enjoyed that. So, what do you think? Is it gonna look alright? There's only one way to find out. Is that Rodolfo? Rodolfo, darling. Come here, we're about to unveil my new hairdo. Ah, my favorite customer. Coming. Well, the suspense is killing me. Let's see how it looks. Well, here goes nothing. And I'm sorry to cut this episode short, but that is all the time I have for this episode. I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed.